talk about chapters six to eight in Stand Up Yumi Chung by Jessica Kim. This is a very popular book. I hope that you enjoy these three chapters as we dive more into Yumi's story. Um, and so, um, it says on the cover right over here, it's in really small print, but it says, <clears throat> it says, standing up for who you are is no joke. And that's true, right? So today we're really gonna um, go deeper into the book. So, you know, I mean, last chapter, the last five chapters were very chaotic. So we, so the, what happened is that <clears throat> first, um, you know, you, Yumi is now in Hagwon, and then what happened was that she found the haha -ha club right and she spent a really nice day there now i have a question so at the end you know i i, I sort of asked for predictions but my question here is do you think that uh yumi will stay in the haha -ha club and if so how do you think that her parents will pay, will feel about it because you know they're i'm pretty sure that you need to to give some you need to pay money to be in the haha -ha club and so do you think that Yumi's parents are going to fork over that money or do you think that's not going to happen? And also, um, do you think that people will be all right when they learn that she's not actually Kei Nakamura? Okay, anyway, let's go on to chapter six. So, um, you know, Yumi barely makes it to the library's uh, parking lot before um, her mother pulls into the driveway, right? And do you think that because Yumi spends so much time in the haha -ha club, do you think that her grades are going to go down? And I have a question. Do you think that Yumi's, uh, what, what, do you think that pursuing would, do you think that Yumi should pursue what she likes? Or do you think that Yumi should, go, should get good grades and go to a good school? What do you think is better? And before you just, before you just say that answer, Think about think about things from a different point of view, from a different perspective. For example, if if you say that Yumi should go and go to the Haha Club, think about how her parents would feel, and what would happen to her. Like, what if she, what if you know she wasted all that valuable time, and you know she still needs to go to a good school, maybe right? I mean, she still needs to get good grades, right? Or if you say that Yumi should pers go to um, the, the to that fr fancy private school, right, Winston, um, then you can think about it like this. Well, what, what about Yumi's life? Like, she like she's passionate about comedy. So, what do you think is better? And, um, do you think that one is more important than the other, or do you think that Yumi should somehow have to balance, balance those? What do you think? Um... So why do you think that Yuri, Yumi's older sister, is, you know, why do you think that she's coming back? Well, I think that something is wrong. I mean, like, um, it's sort of surprising that Yuri will be back. Um, it, yeah, I mean, there's not like she, it's not like she ha really has to do anything, right? But why is she here? It's sort of strange. Um, um, I was, I, I'm already guessing that something is wrong. What about you? Do you think that's strange, or do you think that Yuri just wants to hang out with uh, Yumi and her past family? But think about it. I mean, doesn't she have medical school? So you can, you can sort of think about that. Why, why do you think that Yumi, I mean Yuri, is not at medical school or you know, studying? Why do you think that she's at the restaurant? Um, so, were you shocked when Tony and Hoa Quinn, Ho Quinn, if I did not get that right, I'm sorry, but were you shocked when you realized that they, that they had quit? Um, and what, well, how does that make you feel about them? What do you think? Well, yeah, I was pretty shocked, but yeah, mostly how did, how did you feel about them once you learned that? Um... I don't really blame them, right? I mean, um, I, I don't really blame them because, I mean, they have families to support, right? And if there's a better job around, 
right? Then she, sh then they should, you know. I mean, it's not like they they have families. They have they have they have their own financial troubles. So I totally get why they will quit, right? Because they have things that they need to do. And do you think that? Um, do you think that? Uh, that all of the other staff will also quit? And if so, do you think that they're gonna have to shut down business? What about Manuel? Do you think that he's going to quit? I mean, because if he, if, you know, he, he has family. If he, if he has to pay the rent and bills, so maybe, do you think he'll quit? So, um, do you think that because of these financial troubles and because of these other troubles, right, like staffing troubles, uh, will, do you think that Yuri will be able to study for her medical school? Because it seems like she's getting distracted a lot, right? At the same time, you know, Yumi sort of feels guilty because, you know, while her sister was working really hard, she was having a great, she was having the time of her life at the HaHa -Ha Club. So my question is, um, do you think that Yumi, you know, seeing how much trouble the, the others are going into, do you think that she should be like, okay, I should also, um, you know, I should also help, I should get good grades so that my parents will be happy, or would you be like, oh, well, who cares, like, what, what, do, what do you, what, how, why, how should Yumi act? I think that she should try to get good grades at the same time, I, I think that she should try to make both sides happy, both her and her parents happy. So, you know, she gets good grades, she goes to Winston at the same time, she goes to the HaHa -Ha Club. But I do think that she shouldn't just pose as Kei Nakamura. I think that if she really wants to go, she should, you know, come out clean and actually plead to her parents to let her go. But that's never gonna happen. And if you had been Yuri and your younger sister told you about everything that's happened, would you be like, wow, that's cool? Or would you be like, wow, mom and dad are going to be so angry. Mom, dad, Yumi went to, Yumi went there, blah, 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 blah. What do you think? Yeah, if you had been Yuri, how would you have reacted? I think that I would have wanted to, um, I think that I would want to, um, I, I don't know. Um, no, I mean, I wouldn't tell. I wouldn't tell. I mean, if my sister is really happy, I mean, that's good. I'm not going to complain about that. And, um, and then Yuri says that, tells Yumi that she should really consider, you know, going after it, right? And she begins to talk about following her, pa following passions, right? If you have been Yumi, would you be thinking, maybe he really does have a boyfriend? I mean, or, yeah, what do you think? What did you think when you read, when you read this? Now, I don't think that she has a boyfriend or anything. I think that it's just that she's, matured and changed right she's now in medical school and she realizes these things she realizes hey you know i mean she's 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 now she isn't under the control of her parents anymore she realizes you know go after your passions because those are because those are important right um and do you think that um y that yuri is also going to do the same do you think that going to medical school was her choice or do you do you think that it was her parents choice and do you think that she's going to try to change that because i mean there must be a reason why she's so passionate about it all of a sudden right there must be a reason there's always a reason and um do you think that yumi will um gather the courage to tell her parents about this or do you think that's not going to happen i just thought that it wasn't going to happen right i mean i, I don't know i mean uh yumi sort of is she has trouble tra standing up for herself right and i yeah I, i'm not very sure but i think that she should try to but i'm not sure if it's going to work or not and then fine and then suddenly um and then, and then Manuel is like, did you tell her what said to Yuri? Did you tell your parents about that? And Yuri was like, no, not yet. By now, what were you thinking? Like, what were you thinking about everything? Like, what were you thinking about Yuri and all of that? I definitely knew that something was up, right? I didn't think that it was about her, her secret boyfriend or anything, but I did think that there was some type of problem. Because look, Yuri is suddenly not 
restaurants, I mean, she's coming to the restaurant. She suddenly talked about following passions, and now she has some type of secret. There's something definitely going on with Yuri that she isn't sharing with everybody, anybody else, right? So what do you think that is? Like, what could be, what could, yeah, what do you think? Do you think she wants to follow her passions? If so, now that she isn't going to medical school, I mean, she is going to medical school, but, you know, I mean, she doesn't, she isn't, she keeps on coming home and I mean she's talking about following your passions all of that stuff it seems like she's she wants to follow her own passions and because if she, if, if if medical school was her passion right if it was her passion then she wouldn't be talking about those things right but it seems like you know medical school isn't her I mean if medical school was her passion you know she wouldn't be talking about those things because you know she's already doing that she wouldn't be talking about that but yeah, something's definitely up. What do you think? I have a hunch, but I'm not going to share it. Now, um, so, Yuri, Yuri, um, this, uh, so, um, Yuri tells her parents about the hot hot club. At least a bit, right? She just says, will you sign me up for the, for a comedy camp? Um, and, uh, I have a question. Um, so Yuri's like, well, you know, this could help with our communication skills. And pra they could practice speaking. And that would mean skills for college interviews and job interviews. When, when Yuri began to speak this, yeah, what did you think? What, how did you think that her mom was going to, uh, their, mom was, their mom was going to react? I knew that she would get interested because, you know, um, Yuri and Yumi's mom, are, mom is just all about good futures, good job, I mean, good jobs, good, you know, I mean, good schools, all of those things. And suddenly, here is the Ha Ha Club, right? And this could provide an excellent opportunity. If you happen, Yuri, you, I mean, if you happen, the girl's mom, would you have accepted or would you have been like, no? I mean, I mean, Yumi can always, you know, just talk to other kids at school. That's enough communication for anybody. Besides, um, they're, they're, they're just telling jokes. Well, um, I don't think that I would, uh, I think that I would just support my kid in the first place. I wouldn't be like, no. Comedy is bad. I wouldn't be like that in the first place. I wouldn't be like that in the first place. But if I was, then I think that I would accept that because, you know, this really goes along with their mom's ideals about awesome jobs, awesome schools, awesome awesome futures, right? Um, and, and, but the thing is, it's too expensive. Two hundred dollars. Now, what did you think? We're like, that's not expensive, or wow. Think about it from uh, if you're saying that's not very expensive, think about it from the perspective of um, of you know their family, right? Their business is struggling. People are quitting. Um, all of that, and just consider, is this worth it? Do you, is now do you think that you would accept? It's harder. If I had the money, I think that I would. But if if that if my finances just didn't allow that, then yeah. Still, um, I don't think I would sign Yumi up for Hagwon. I mean, because if she doesn't, I'm mean, sorry. Uh, because if she doesn't want to go to Winston, then she should just go to public school. I mean, it's not that bad. And besides, I mean, she wants to go there, right? Um, she wants a fresh start. So. <clears throat> Now, why do you think that Mrs. Pack wants to meet with Yumi? And if you have been Yumi, would you have been like, I'm panicking? Or would you be like, oh, this must be about my awesome grades? I would definitely be panicking. I, I, I would at least be nervous. I mean, if I've been Yumi, I, when I go to class, I mostly pay attention. So I don't really worry when my, when my teacher is like, Jaden, please come up to the front, or Jaden, I needed to speak to you. So I'm not really worried. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I'm not a troublemaker or anything, so I, I'm not really worried at those points. But, I mean, yeah, if I had been Yumi, and, you know, Yumi sort of was pretty bored. She was doodling in her super secret comedy notebook. I, I think I would be a bit worried. I have, I have a question.
question. So, um, we soon learned that, you know, Yumi kept on second guessing her answers, making them all wrong, right? Even though she's really good. Meaning that, um, you know, she's just not confident in herself. Well, do you think this is only in math? No, this is sort of everywhere, right? Can you list just uh, one example? Yeah, one example is, you know, Yumi, uh, she, she, it's hard for her to stand up for herself and um, she should do that. She should be like, mom, I don't, the, the comedy is really important to me. It is very important to me and it is special. Um, even if that, if, even I think that the Haha -ha Club is a good investment because I'll be able to advance in stand-up comedy and with that, I think that I'll get better. Um, $200 is a pretty good deal and I, I would enjoy it immensely. Please, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good debate and it report, it, uh, that's a pretty good argument. Do you think that uh, the only failure is not trying? Like, do you think this um, represents all situations or not? Not all situations, but I get why uh, Mrs. Pack, Miss Pack, Mrs. Pack um, told you me to this because you know um, you should you should try your best because if you don't try you're never gonna get anywhere but at least if you try you know whether or not it's going to that you're good at something right you you know but not trying that's being a coward right you just you just say i'm too afraid to try you can't be like that you need to stand up for yourself that's why this book is called stand up yumi chunk right but do you think she will stand up for herself um and do you think that um, also? Do you think that after this that after this uh, meeting, do you think Yumi will get better at math, or do you think that the scores will stay the same? And if so, will she get her uh, will she get her scholarship at Winston? Um, do you think that uh, Mrs. Pack is going to do something about it? How do you think that her parents are going to react? Well, I'm just going to say that if she gets bad grades, this scene is not going to be nice. Chapter 8. So. Okay. Um, so. Are you the type of person who, even if you're making a scene that everybody's like, look at that kid. I mean, he's strange. Are you the type of person who just act out? Or are you the type of person who, you know, really cares about your appearance? You know, like, Felipe is like, ah. Like you know, like even um, at, even in the pub, in even in public, he was he was he was giving an example of a supersonic scream and he was yelling kapow, boom, smash, right? Can, could you do that in public, or do you think you'd be too embarrassed? Well, I wouldn't be able to do it as like loud as he could. I mean, it's not like I'm embarrassed, but yeah, I think that I would tamp down the volume a bit and then I would be comfortable but like if I was yelling oh that just brings shivers <clears throat> and if you had been Yumi would you have gone back do you think you would be guilty or would you just be like hey Kay's not even here what do you think I would be guilty I don't think that I would have stepped in the comedy club at the first in the first place like if Jasmine and Jasper signaled me out I would just be like oh I'm not I'm not I'm not actually Kate Nakamura. I'm, uh, I, I, I was just seeing what was going on here. I, I don't think that I would, yeah, I wouldn't have really uh, gone inside in the first place. But now, yeah, I would just be like, okay, Jaden, don't go. You've already done enough. And that, that, that'll be that. Um, and what, what decision did you think that Yumi was going to make? Like, you know, she was in the bathroom, she was splashing water on her face. What decision? She decides to go on. But do you think this will, ha this will have unwelcome consequences? Do you think that she will be found out? If the real Kei Nakamura comes, how do you think that, what do you think the scene will be? Do you think that her parents will find out? Do you, Jasmine Jasper is definitely gonna find out. Um, and if so, Jasmine Jasper is not gonna like um, Yumi, right? And that's not, that, that's not good. Um, but at the same time, the only failure is not trying. So at this point, 
What do you think? What do you think is right? You me going away, just being like, I can't do this, this is wrong, or do you think that you me actually trying and following her dreams? Yeah, you might be thinking, following your dreams is best, right? But Yumi's not doing it exactly, you know, legally, so, I mean, what do you think? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think that there's any law concerning people um, pretending to be other people in comedy clubs, but it's definitely not good. It's not good. Yeah, it's probably illegal, too, like, you know, um, assuming another person's identity without their permission and, you know, doing all that. I think that, yeah, that's definitely illegal. So, what do you think will happen next? Do you think Yumi will be find found out? Um, do you think she's going to continue going to the ho Do you think she's going to continue go go to the Kaha club? What do you think? Well, um, I'll see you next time. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed um, these three chapters in Stand Up Yumi Chung by Jessica Kim. Uh, she just released a new book called Make a Move Sunny Park. Well, yeah, I, I hope that I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, please come back for the next chapters of Stand Up Yumi Chung. And well, keep reading and have a great rest of your day.